This is Rez from the Eviscerated Gaming Podcast, and this is the third video in a series of six that I put together to spotlight a PvP team that I use comprised of a giant bone spider, an oily slime, and a Xandalari knee biter. For this match, I'm going to be put up against someone with a Celestial Dragon, a Clockwork Gnome, and a Tiny Harvester. I deviate from my standard opening with this uh, giant bone spider and go straight for Death Grip, because I know that the uh, Celestial Dragon has... Two abilities, uh, weather abilities, that always get cast. I mean, almost everybody that uses in PvP will cast those first right off the bat. So I use Death Grip to counter that. It draws out the Gnome. I put uh, Siphon Life, and then I'll dot him with uh, Poison Spit. And when Death Grip comes off cooldown, I will Death Grip again, pull that uh, Celestial Dragon back into the fight, and put the Gnome in the back line to uh, keep taking damage from these dots I put on him. The gnome's out, the celestial dragon's back in, and I'm expecting this person to cast one of their weather abilities. Uh, get Siphon Life on him, and there he casts Moonlight. Moonlight hits me for about 380. Um, I take a little bit of heal back from the Siphon Life, and then uh, I get Poison Spit on the celestial dragon, and he immediately casts uh, Arcane Storm, which does... Uh, Around 150 damage to each pet front line and back line. So now that his weather effects are up, uh, I'm going to continue doing uh, my same routine. I'm going to keep a dot up on him, and as soon as Death Grip comes off cooldown, I'm going to bring that gnome back in to finish him off. And the gnome, Clockwork Gnome comes back in. Uh, he's really low health. And the Celestial Dragon is close to dying from the dots. I'll put um, Siphon Life on the Gnome and Poison Spit till he's dead. And the Celestial Dragon just died in the background. Uh, the Gnome is uh, short on life. He has uh, Siphon Life on him right now. And I'll put uh, uh, Poison Spit on him if I can get a hit off. But... Uh, he kills me, I resurrect, get poison spit, and then the dot kills him, and then uh, Tiny Harvester comes in. Uh, I get, uh, because of the speed of the Giant Bone Spider, I end up getting one more ability off before the Giant Bone Spider dies, so I get a dot on that Tiny Harvester, and then in comes the, uh, the Oily Slime. Uh, same series of uh, attacks I use every time he comes in. I'll put Acidic Goo up first. Corrosion, and then I'll just spam Absorb until uh, the uh, dots wear off of him. He's dying pretty quickly because of uh, he still had a dot on him from the Bone Spider, and then the two I added to him. Uh, he dies and then comes back, and uh, one more hit and he's dead. I win the fight, and I don't even bring in my Sandalar Knee Biter. Make sure you check out the other five videos in this series, and if you get a chance, go to Warcraft petfoundry.blogspot.com for uh, links to the other videos and a post on the team makeup I use for this specific PvP team.